What's up, ninjas? What is going on? It is Tuesday? Monday. Monday. <clears throat> and uh, we're back at it. I'm trying to get pizza's attention. We got some, uh, some Christmas gifts from my customer. And um, I hope the lighting is good, ninjas, because this camera is starting to give me trouble. I think I'm going to take it back and exchange it for another one. Um, because the sound and, and last video, the lighting was really messed up. I think I got his attention. So, it's Monday, guys. We're back at it. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I did not make a video yesterday, uh, but I did make one with uh, Mama Ninja Kitchen. If you haven't checked out that channel yet, go check it out. Mama Ninja Kitchen. She had me doing all kinds of crazy things yesterday, like a challenge. It was disgusting, but uh, go check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. What's up, Peace? Now, you know I'm keeping the green spoon, but you got the red spoon. Nice. And that's a uh, Christmas gift from, uh, from uh, my customer here. I'm very thoughtful of her, so I figured I'd uh, catch your attention and uh, Let's look through and see what's in here. I haven't really even opened it yet or taken it out. What is it? Candy in the world. Candy, best candy in the world. She said this is pretty simple. Uh, you just pour it in a uh, cup and microwave it or something, and it turns into a confetti cake. It's crazy. So, and all kinds of other goodies in here. So, and also, of course, I wanted you uh, to say what's up to the world. What's up? Come on, uh, come on, dude. It's Monday. We got a job. I know. All right, so uh, give me a little bit more enthusiasm right here. What's up, world? Oh, come on. You can do a little better. What's up, world? There you go. <laughs> there you go. See, now we're talking. How was your weekend, Peace? Not bad. We were going to go work. We were going to do some stuff yesterday and work. And what happened? Neither one of us got up. Neither one of us got up. Well, we did, but <laughs> we're awake. But we got up late. And we were sore from that leaf cleanup job. Weren't we, Peace? Dude, that's, I got home. That sun. Ate and laid down for a little while. About two hours later, I stood up and went, Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was bad. Yeah, it was, it was. Up and down that ladder, man. I think that's what it did. And, and, and for me, it wasn't so much the legs. He said his legs were shot. But for me, it was the back. A little bit of the legs, but really it was the back and the arm. It's hard to believe I used to go up and down a ladder all day long. Yeah, how'd you do that? And now you, you're complaining. That was like your first I official. I got used to it. I mean, that was like his first official gutter cleaning job where he's having to go up and down the ladder several right. times. I mean, I don't know. I guess I got used to it after a while, but I used to do it all day, every day. Up the ladder, down the ladder. Up the ladder, down the ladder. Up the ladder, down the ladder. Pizza is a pro on a ladder. He might be afraid of the ladder, but he's a pro on a ladder. I'm a pro at everything I do. <laughs> Go work. I'll join you. Try to, and you stop. Hey, I was trying to show you this, okay? If you don't want it, I'll take it. Right, I'm about to join you.
Alright ninjas, we are at these two. You've seen it before. Side by side right there. We got one more after this and then we are done for today. <coughs> Dust, man. I've been mulching leaves all day. Okay, a couple of things. Um, really one thing that I really want to talk about on this video. I'm going to try. I'm not saying I'm going to do this every video, but I'm going to try to pick a topic every couple of videos so we can talk about it. And I'll give you my personal opinion on this. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about... Set you up here. Hope you guys can see me. Today I want to talk about... Competition. Okay? I want to talk about competition everybody's out here you know or a lot of guys are out here trying to compete or not everybody but a lot or they feel like there's competition from others or the you know what i'm saying guys there's the competition is a big thing probably in any industry but lawn care in particular so i'm going to speak for myself here <clears throat> Do I have competition where I'm from, in my area, my town? And is it, is it, is it a problem? <clears throat> well, the answer to the second part is no. The answer to the first part is no. In my eyes, there is no competition. And I mean that with all due respect for everybody. You know, all the lawn care companies out there, locally and not. There is no competition, ninjas. And you don't need to worry about others. Because if you worry too much about competition and worry too much about others and what they're doing, then that's the time you are not focusing on your own business and on your own customers, business, lawns. Stop worrying about what others are doing. Focus on what you're doing. Personally, I wake up in the morning and I put water in my face and I look at myself in the mirror and that's the competition I have, is the man in the mirror. Because that's the person that drives me. And I look at myself and I go, I'm gonna either have a good day today, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna go out here, or I'm not. I don't care about other lawn care companies. I don't care what they do. I don't care if they have 150 or 350 yards. I'm happy for them. I <laughs> All right, guys. There's so much work out here for all of us. There's so much work out here, it's not even funny. Now, needless to say, sometimes it can be challenging to get the work. You got to you got to have certain skills. You have to know how to talk to clients. You have to know uh, how to take care of, uh, you know, do your job good in order for you to, you know, come back and them hiring you again. But I don't worry about other lawn care companies. I don't care what they do. I don't care how many yards they have. And neither should you, ninjas. Because if I focused on other lawn care companies I and I stressed... There's somebody out here that's bigger than me. There's somebody out here that's doing more yards. and Then I'm not focusing on my own business. Look, <clears throat> not everybody is on the same level. So how can it be a competition thing? The guy that's doing five yards a week because he's, he has a full-time job. And he's only doing five or ten yards uh, a week because, hey, he wants to make side money. How is that competition, ninjas? Or the company that has 20, 30 trucks. They're, they're on a huge, huge different scale. How's that competition? Think about it. They're on a huge different scale. Their prices are going to be higher. They have a bigger overhead. They have lots of employees. They have a whole lot of... It's a whole different ball game, ninjas. Don't worry about your competition because there is none. The only competition is you, within you, yourself. What you do with your business and where you go. Focus on your business, on your goals, on what drives you. 
other guys that do the same thing that I do, lawn care, they don't drive me. Just because I see them with a bigger truck, fancier equipment, better equipment, better truck, that doesn't drive me. I respect it because that tells me they're doing something right, they're doing good, and I'm happy for them. But that doesn't make me jealous, and neither it, sh it should not make you jealous neither. That doesn't make me hate on them because I'm too busy thinking about my own thing. That's the thing. Sometimes, guys... We worry, we, it's human nature. We worry about too much about others instead of ourselves. We worry too much of what others are doing instead of ourselves. Just do you and everything will be okay. I want to take this time to talk to you about this because pizza's, you know, it's just a push mowing job and there's not much weed eating here, if any. <coughs> and I don't think I'm going to have another opportunity, so I figured I'd take this time and talk to you guys. Never worry about the other guys. Just worry about what you're doing. And make sure the yards that you have, you're taking care of and doing correctly. Look, guys, I've lost yards to other lawn care companies in the past. And I wasn't mad about it because some yards I was happy that I'm not doing anymore. Other yards, I was bitter because of the way the situation went down. I got mad the customer pissed me off or we, we had a little bit of an altercation. But I was never mad at the other lawn care company. They got called. And I have taken jobs from other lawn care companies. I, And for whatever reason, I don't know and I don't care. There is yards that I have that other lawn care companies in my area used to do. And now I do them. You probably, you know, you're wondering, well, how'd you get them? What I don't know. And I don't care. All I know is my phone rang, I picked up, I went and quoted a yard and I got it. And that's all it needs to be. So there's no competition ninjas. Everybody's on a different level and just focus on you. Focus on your business and everything will be okay. You know, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie. When I was when I was growing, and I'm not saying that I'm still I'm a, I'm a big shot here. I'm not. I'm not a big company, but you know, I've come a long way in my life and in my business and my journey through business and journey through life. You know, I've gone through a lot of stuff, a lot more than I've shared with you guys yet. Not necessarily that I don't want to share. I just don't think it's the right time. I don't think it's. Uh, you know, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't gotten to that point yet. Not, nothing crazy nothing you know it's just a struggle guys it was a struggle it was hard getting the business it was hard finding clients it was working your way up to get decent equipment it was a struggle and I know you ninjas are going through the same thing out there the ones that are fighting every day and trying to grow and and you can't quit you can't give up and you can't focus on the other guys you can't even think about it you know, I used to remember when I had a little single axle trailer, it was like a little rinky dinky $300 trailer I picked up from a friend of mine. And I, all I had was like a little push mower. Or, I don't know, I can't remember if I had a tractor on there or not. It might have just been two push mowers or something like that. And I remember pulling, me up, pulling up at the red light and I looked over and there was a huge company. It was a huge company. I don't, I don't know what company it was, but you know, they, considering the size that I was at the time, that was a huge company in my eyes. And, uh, and they were a lot bigger than I was. They had zero turns, walk behinds, you know, handheld blowers, backpack blowers, weed eaters, edgers. And they looked at me and I could I could feel, I could sense the way they were looking at me. They weren't just looking at me, they were looking down on me. And what's funny is nine times out of ten, those guys were probably workers to that company. And they weren't even the owners. And I was working for myself and growing my business. But regardless, I looked at them, they looked at me, and I, I sensed they were looking down on me. They started giggling, they started laughing, and I'm not going to lie, I felt embarrassed. And I remember actually uh, pulling, finally turning off that road and thinking to myself, like, thank goodness I turned. <laughs> it's so stupid. But, you know... I, and that's when I told myself, I don't care. You can't focus on others. You can't think about other people. You can't 
focus on how, how many yards they have or what they're doing. Just do you. And everything will be okay. As long as ninjas, you don't give up. Don't give up. Never give up. Set a goal and tell yourself this year, this next season, I want to get 10 more clients or 20 more clients. I want to make this amount of money and work towards that goal. So instead of thinking about all these people around you, think about that goal and focus on that goal. And you will make it. Set, and don't, don't set the goal to where it's not achievable. It's better to set your goal lower and go past your goal and go, yes, I made it. I even went above. Instead of setting your goal at something crazy and then getting disappointed later because you couldn't make it. So I want to talk to you about that. 10 minutes, 11 minutes, competition, no such thing in my book. I don't think about it. I don't care about it. I'm happy there's other people, other guys, if they're in, my, in the same industry or not, regardless, but I'm happy there's other people that have jobs and they have good equipment. That means they work their way up. And you gotta, you gotta show respect to that, guys. You gotta show respect. I res if I see a bigger company, pizza singing. If I, see, if I see a bigger company, I respect it. Man, somebody's doing something right in that company, whether it's the employees, whether it's the owner, whatever. Somebody's doing something right. And that's what's up. So, you know, competition. I know a lot of guys, they want to compete. They want to, they get mad if they see another uh, company in their area is growing. No, no. You are your only competition. Nobody else. So I want to talk to you about that. Hope it helps. Uh, I'll try to pick a topic maybe, uh, you know, related to lawn care, of course. <clears throat> I don't want to say every video or every day, but maybe one a week, two a week, whatever. No pressure. But um, we got one more. I'm not really sure if I'm going to record or not. Probably not. And uh, we're going to call it quits. It's been a good day. I only got to show you a little bit of us uh, blowing leaves there. Like I said, we've mowed. Today we had... Uh, we only did 13 today. <clears throat> but we had 17 on the list um, Two of them canceled for the season said let's pick up in spring, which is fine That's that's fine. Perfect. No problem uh, <coughs> And a couple others I pushed to tomorrow so in Wednesday so uh, tomorrow we're gonna go pick up those leaves uh, That we did uh, Saturday, yep, and I will definitely show you that because I want to see <laughs> How many of them actually blew back into the front yard? Um, but we got to get that, and I'm going to try to see if I can do another shrubbery job. If not, you know, that way I fill up the dump trailer really good before I take it to the uh, landfill and dump it or whatever. So, but I hope all you guys have had a good day. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for each and every one of you subscribing, liking check out mama ninja kitchen all right she's uh she's got a great channel i am uh involved we did a challenge yesterday that was pretty disgusting actually and so uh that was pretty fun but it was disgusting but i had a blast um i you know i don't say that a lot it was pretty disgusting and i had fun so <laughs> so check it out sgninjas.com for the gear i really appreciate each and every one of you supporting and ordering uh, much love loyalty is key remember that ninjas not just between me and you but also between you and your clients and your family family is key also and loyalty with your family is key if you don't have loyalty you have nothing think about it without loyalty you have nothing nobody's gonna trust you nobody's gonna even want to do business with you the f your families want to part ways with you you have to have loyalty people have to know that you have their back just like you want to know that there's other people that have your back just like you guys know I have your back and I will always provide videos and uh, be part of the community and communicate and I listen to you guys you know I do 
There's things I read, I listen, I communicate with you guys. And uh, if you have any good ideas, give me advice, I listen. That's my decision to decide if I wanna go that route or not, Or, but I listen, I react, and that's loyalty. I don't know a lot of other, I don't know many channels that listen, communicate, and interact that much with their viewers. And, um, you know, that's something I, I chose to do and I want to do. So, all right, we're done. We got one more to go. Pizza's back. Pizza? <laughs> pizza? We don't have pizzas. We have... Ninjas. Ninja? Ninjas? Ninjas. Hey, somebody said on Instagram earlier, they said, uh, hey, Nick, can you buy me a pizza? I want to eat a pizza. This is a clean channel, sir. <laughs> Instagram, Saving Green Lawn Care. Check it out. Things are happening on there every day that don't always end up on YouTube. All sorts of shenanigans. Yeah. Shenanigans. And Mama Ninja Kitchen. Check it out. She's, uh, I'm, I'm involved, as I mentioned, and we did a challenge yesterday. I don't know if you watched yet, pizza or not. It was pretty disgusting. Uh, I puked. <laughs> but it was funny so check it out thanks for watching i don't think i'll record it this last one and we're ready to go home and uh yeah but stay tuned for tomorrow we'll definitely have a good day and i got a lot to show tomorrow and it's gonna be a good week i was telling pizza earlier this is gonna be a good week we'll make it a good week because we're gonna make it a good week got to man i ain't got no option pizza's like i need the hours mm -hmm. i need the hours <laughs> mm -hmm. i can get I need all of them. He's like, I need all the hours. Can I get an hour here and an hour there? Mm -hmm. Oh, what about an hour over there? 30 minutes here, five minutes there. You know what that's called, right? Riding the clock. No. No, man. <laughs> Stop making that money. Gates are closed? Yep. All right. See you, my ninjas. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace. Oh, sorry. My ear was itching. <laughs> <laughs> it still itches. See, this is the downside to gauges. They itch, and there's nothing you can do about it. You gonna say goodbye or what? Goodbye, YouTube.